Imagine you have a meat cultivator in your kitchen where with the press of a button, you can tell it to produce any type of meat that you want. I'm Mark Post. I'm a professor of physiology here at Maastricht University. In 2050, we will be here with 9 billion people, 9 billion mouths to feed. So that will lead to more meat demand. I've often wondered whether there is a way to create meat without all the consequences of livestock meat production. And I think this will be the answer to it. So we are already able to produce hamburgers from stem cells without slaughtering a cow. I believe that in the future we can look forward to appliances in our kitchen in the form of an espresso machine or um, a food printer or in an oven. How it would work is you put a, a tea bag with stem cells in your meat cultivator. Yeah, you can design the meat any way you like, from a very fat-rich meat that you uh, cook very slowly on a barbecue to a very protein-rich meal after a workout. The meat cultivator would allow us to produce meat in a much more environmentally friendly, animal friendly, and resource efficient way. My ideal future is that, uh, let's say 20 years from now, we will grow all our meat in our own kitchen and we would think it's weird that we ever did otherwise.